Hello everyone and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Taratino Crash Zoom effect digitally inside Premiere Pro. Now normally the best way to do this is in camera using a power focus zoom lens which means that you can change the focal length of the lens and it doesn't affect the focus of your video. Now the effect can be used creatively in a lot of ways to reveal an important character or important characters. It can be used to heighten the emotion of a character and you can also use it just because the effect is cool or to draw your viewers attention to any portion of your video now to create this effect the first thing you are going to do is to come over to your project panel over here and select new item and create a new adjustment layer and hit ok now drag this adjustment layer onto your video clip over here and stretch your adjustment layer to the duration of your video clip next you go over to your effects panel and search for the transform effect and drag your transform effect onto your adjustment layer. The next thing you need to do is to move over to the portion of your video clip where you want to create this zoom in effect. So what you are going to do is just few seconds where you want the effect to take place, you move over to your transform effect under your effects control panel and toggle animation for position and scale. Now you are going to move 7 frames forward by hitting this right arrow 7 times. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now at this position, you're going to increase the scale to really zoom into the object or the subject you want to zoom into. And you can also adjust the position. Now if we go back a little bit and hit play, you can see that crash zoom effect over here. Now to add the motion blur effect as we are zooming in, we are going to change the shutter angle to 360 and deselect use composition shutter. And as you can see, we have successfully created the crash zoom effect. But bear in mind, if you are doing this in post-production, it works better if you are working with high resolution footages. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.